Tim Peake, ESA's first British astronaut, will soon be returning to Earth after a six-month stay on board the International Space Station. His mission, which is called Principia, has been extended by a few days to allow replacement crew members to arrive, which means more time for research and enjoying the spectacular views of Earth. Prior to his flight, Tim Peake spent around six years training with the station's international partners, moving between Europe, Japan, North America and Russia. It's a tried and tested program, which allows ESA astronauts to practice each stage of their missions before leaving Earth. On December the 15th, 2015, launch day finally arrived. Together with crewmates Tim Kopra from NASA and Russian cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko, he boarded the Soyuz capsule at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Just six hours later, they docked with the 400-ton International Space Station, 400 kilometers above the Earth. Tim Peake's long-awaited life in orbit had begun. The coming months would see much of his time spent on scientific experiments in disciplines such as fluid physics, human physiology, and material science. The ISS provides unique conditions that can't be replicated on Earth. As flight engineer, Tim Peake has also shared responsibility for the day-to-day -day running of the station. Tasks have ranged from maintaining and repairing equipment to vacuuming, a very important chore in such a controlled environment. Hardware, experiments and food have arrived on board unmanned cargo vessels such as the SpaceX Dragon, which Peake birthed using the station's robotic arm. As always, there's also been maintenance to do outside the ISS. As well as providing support for crewmates during extravehicular activities, or EVAs, Tim Peake had the opportunity to venture outside himself. On January the 15th, he carried out a spacewalk with Tim Copra, lasting over four and a half hours. Working in the shadow of the Earth to avoid dangerous sparks, they replaced a failed power regulator and installed new cabling. So once the gyroscope is sp spinning, you can just see... Throughout the Principia mission, Peake has been keen to share his experience with the next generation of scientists and astronauts, conducting a variety of lessons and workshops from space. He even managed to take part in the London Marathon, using a treadmill and a special harness in the Tranquility Node. He finished the 42-kilometer race in just over three and a half hours, during which time the ISS traveled almost 100,000 kilometers. And as part of preparations for future missions to the moon and beyond, on April the 29th, he attempted to remotely steer a robot called Bridget across a simulated Mars landscape in Stevenage, England. Developed by ESOC, ESA's operations center, the blackout-tolerant control system was a success. After a highly intense and successful first mission, it'll soon be time for Tim Peake to board the Soyuz capsule and begin his descent to Earth, bringing an end to ESA's eighth long-duration stay on board the ISS.